Greetings, everyone. First, Kerbal Patch is out, and uh, it actually improves quite a bit of things, so let's take a look at that. And I figured since the first patch is out, it's also the perfect time to rescue some people that have been bugged out. I've been having this weird bug, and unfortunately the patch doesn't seem to have fixed it. But I have this weird bug where my spaceships will just randomly be out of fuel. I think somehow their engine gets activated when they're in time warp or something. Could potentially also be related to this weird bug in the previous version, where when you were naming your spaceship, if you hit the M key, you'd go to the map, and then whatever buttons you were, if you were typing really fast, those buttons would happen to your spaceship. So that's entirely possible. So that obnoxious naming your ship anything with an M bug is fixed, thankfully. So I can go back to naming my ships moon ships instead of noon ships. Side note, I absolutely love what they did with the thumbnails for the crafts. That is a really nice touch. I'm really glad you can skip the countdown. And I thought I'd hate the countdown, but I actually really like the countdown. And I listen to it more times than I care to admit. I mean, granted, I'm maybe, what, like 60 hours into the game? But I'm not sick of it yet. It's still great. As you can see, this is unmanned. This is going to be part of my moon mission. I'm going to launch a lander into orbit. I'm going to leave it parked there until next episode when I will rendezvous with it and take it to the moon. Speaking of never gets old, stage separations. Add in my playtime with this game and its predecessor and yeah, that, that will never get old. It's always fun watching spaceships dump components and transform. Oh, this hilarious, seemingly harmless bug still exists, where when you stage your fairing off, it just goes, woo! <laughs> Here's my lunar lander, and it will just sit here in orbit until I need it next episode. For the rest of this video, we're going to be rescuing some people who are stranded here in orbit. Because now that some of the serious orbit and rendezvous and delta v bugs have been fixed, and docking port bugs, now it's time to go rescue those guys that that fuel glitch stranded. I've got one crew with a lot of Kerbals in it, uh, I think it's got five on board at a high altitude, and then I've got another crew with uh, just two. Uh, Tim and somebody else. I absolutely love that you can colorize the rockets. I'm also going to need to put a computer on here so that I can send this unmanned up to get that crew of five people, but it's probably good that there's an autonomous version of this crew vehicle anyway. It's kind of an oversight. Alright, let's go rescue our men. I really like this launch vehicle. It's a lot of fun. So I'm going to send up two ships so there's going to be two launches, and each time I'm going to talk about rendezvous and docking. So there's going to be two shots here to explain the rendezvous and docking process. Anyone who's new to the game and is just trying to get to orbit, basically the short version is the nav ball down in the corner is everything. The little strip of the three different shades of blue in the lower right, that's how thick the air is. And you want to be tipping over to the right the thinner the air gets. So the, the deeper in the color blue that little indicator gets. That's pretty much all there is to it. You just want to be building up speed while you're dipping to the right as the air thins out. Now we're just going to coast until the number to ground is pretty close to the AP number in the lower left of the screen by the nav ball. And once we're up there, we're going to point prograde and just blast our engine until that PE number in the lower left is something above 100, anything above 100. And then we'll get into a proper orbit and look at our look at our situation to our target because we're we're on a rescue mission. So we've about achieved a a decent orbit here. It's not a very circular rise orbit, but that's okay. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to kind of eyeball where the other spaceship is and look at the lines on the of their orbits. And then I'm going to play around with the maneuver node. I'm going to accelerate until my orbit crosses the orbit of my target. And then I'm going to grab the middle of the maneuver node and just drag it around my orbit and, and see what's up. 
you can see that uh, AN 0 0.6, that's the ascending node to my target. And that's really good. I really lucked out. What that is, is it's your relative inclination to them. And if that number is a lot higher than zero, you do have to do a maneuver, which I'll show you in the next mission. Um, but you do have to do a maneuver to get that number closer to zero. But since we are really close to the same inclination, and I really lucked out here, and I did find an encounter where we're going to be really close to each other, like 6,000 meters. So now in the lower left, I'm going to click on the thing down here that says maneuver. I'm going to let my spaceship rotate around until it's pointing at the maneuver. And then I'm going to hit the little fast forward button to the left of the of the maneuver planner, not maneuver node, the maneuver planner window there. And fast forward to when I need to start burning my engine. So basically that little start burn in, when that hits zero, it's time to start burning. And uh, I'm going to watch the map because... I want to be extra sure I don't overshoot this, and I want I'm to, I'm going for that one A and one B, and that did it. That's pretty dang good. So now the next step is just to time warp until I get to that marked one A and one B section, and once I get there, I'm going to show you how we kill out our relative velocity. So first thing I need to do is change the number, the yellow number in the lower left. The, to target there's a bunch of different ones like orbit um, but I want it to say target so make sure the little yellow thing says target and then you point retrograde and now we just time warp until we're as close as possible and then we fire our engine retrograde until that little target number in yellow over there on the left says zero or as close to zero as possible once we get our speed to our target pretty close to zero. Then we're going to click on target kind of near the nav ball. And we're, when we point at our target, we're going to accelerate towards them. And then we're just kind of kind of do this repeat thing where we fire towards our target, get the speed up to maybe 50 meters a second or so. And then we flip around retrograde, fire our engine until we're at zero. And so it's uh, we kind of are going to inch our way over to them. Now, once you're within a few hundred meters of your target, now the game kind of changes and we're going to be using the R key for RCS and we're going to use I, J, K, and L to up, down, left, and right move the prograde or retrograde indicator around on the nav ball. Always a good idea to quick save when you're this close, but I'm just going to use the H key to kind of scooch myself to the other side of the target. I'm going to flip myself around and try to visually line up where our docking ports are. I've got the camera currently set to chase mode, but it seems to always want to view it from the top, which is kind of annoying. But once I kind of am I lined up what I think is about right, then I start paying attention exclusively to the nav ball and just trying to use I, J, K, and L to move the prograde, I'm heading towards them, the open circle, or retrograde, I'm moving away from them, the crossed circle and I'm just gonna move those around the nav ball up down left and right and I like I said pretty much exclusively look at the nav ball until I've docked you see how the open circle is way off to the left of the nav ball and the nose of my spacecraft is slowly inching towards that target indicator on the nav ball so as you get in really close, you want to try to have all three of those indicators lined up. Nose of my spaceship, the target indicator, and the prograde indicator, the direction I'm going. And then you're all set for a docking, provided you're lined up in 3D space. So I'm going to use the Kerbal Manager, put all my Kerbals in the new spaceship, just for fun. And I'm going to bring the whole thing down, because I don't want to leave any space junk up here. Let's set this trash loose and we'll become a capsule here. I can't wait until they add re-entry heating, but until then we don't really need to worry about anything to do with re-entry. Awesome, these Kerbals are good as rescued, but we're not done yet. I'm still gonna send another ship up to rescue a couple more stranded. So we're gonna recover our vessel, we're gonna head back to the VAB, throw a new coat of paint on another rescue mission. This launch vehicle is just way too much fun. I'm going to park this in orbit, and then once I'm in orbit, I'm going to assess when we can rendezvous, and let's go get those guys.
So this time our inclination isn't quite so perfect. It's a 1.3 degree difference, and that can make a big difference in speed when you're trying to rendezvous. So what that means is you have to place a maneuver plan and you have to either go up or down, either normal or anti-normal, and until you see that number be zero. And then we're just gonna warp to that maneuver and execute it. After you've matched your planes and your inclination is zero or close to it, then basically you just want to time warp around the planet until you see you're getting kind of close to them, to your target. And then you want to plan a maneuver and have your orbits cross and then just drag the maneuver plan around until you get a close encounter. And now just like before, I want to make sure that the little yellow number says target and I want to point retrograde and I want to cancel that number out to zero. Then I'm going to point towards my target, fire my engine towards them if I need to, and then same thing, flip around retrograde and then get that number to equal zero again. But now that we're so close to each other within hundreds of meters, now I'm just going to use I, J, K, and L to move the prograde or retrograde indicators around on my nav ball in reference to my target to either scooch away from it or scooch towards it. Try to keep that speed to your target number really low and don't be afraid to use time warp or to just wait a while. Once you have the direction you're going, the prograde, your target, and the nose of your spaceship all lined up, we just scooch in and, and dock. And then another crew rescued. So just like last flight, I decided to bring all the garbage down with me. But the weirdest thing kept happening where I think it was counting the undocked bits as still part of my ship. And so once they separated or once it, yeah, I think it was once they got too far apart, I would just fail. So I actually had to land these two capsules docked together, which worked fine for the parachute portion, but the uh, water landing, it was not very buoyant gave me a bit of a panic attack as I quickly tried to recover the crew. Thankfully, everyone survived. Hope you found this video useful or at least entertaining. I'm really enjoying the new patch so far. Please leave a like if you enjoyed the video and I'd really appreciate a subscribe if you haven't already and thanks for watching!